हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आईटी के फंडे योर ओन चैनल वेयर वी मेक आईटी इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर एवरीवन आई एम अंशुल तिवारी एंड दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ माय जर्नी ऑफ डूइंग गूगल क्लाउड आर्किटेक्ट सर्टिफिकेशन इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच पार्ट वन आई हाईली रिकमेंड यू वॉच इट नाउ और यू कैन वॉच इट आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वेयर वी डिस्कस्ड हाउ आई प्रिपेयर फॉर माई एग्जाम फॉर गूगल क्लाउड आर्किटेक्ट एग्जाम वॉट आर्किटेक्ट एग्जाम कंटेन्स and what all resources i utilize using mind mapping technique to clear it which you can utilize in pretty much any other certification as well so please go check that out but for now in this particular video i will share my take on whether to do certifications in it or not in pretty much any particular field what are the goods what are what are the bads and whether you should go for it or not and this is my experience after doing my google cloud architect certification So please enjoy this video and yes do check out part 1 if you haven't already thank you so uh, let's quickly uh, cover my take on overall certifications in IT industry over the past 1 1 and 1/2 years during this pandemic we saw everyone pretty much everyone going madly about certifications everyone wants to get certified everyone wants to find uh, that edge or that niche in the market and uh, yes i think uh, on on that my my take has been uh, these five points overall so first and foremost uh, my understanding was i was very over confident about my knowledge and i just thought i could crack it easily but i it was wrong it was not easy uh, it uh, during midway of the exam also i thought i would not be able to crack it let me be very honest i put 25 questions on review out of 50 so you can imagine imagine how how nervous i was and then in the last half an hour or 45 minutes i went back and i kind of changed around 12 to 13 answers out of those 25 marked as review and that did the trick so always remember this and i'll again reiterate if you have any doubt put that question in review okay and then refer to it later now certifications are becoming more and more important because because with so many people applying for jobs i think the first basic filter which uh, the recruiters apply is to see if you are certified because if you are certified it's pretty much sure that you know something it can't be that you have done the certification and you know nothing about it okay so that the that's the basic filter where you get helped okay so that is where uh, it helps you to get highlighted your profile gets highlighted to the recruiters and it helps very important point is this one it pulled me out of my comfort zone and let me face the fear of failure because then you know we we always tend to be in our own bubble that we are the experts we know so much blah 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 but when actually it comes to proving your you know your knowledge on the ground that's where you face your fears and regardless of the result even for appearing the exam it takes a lot and you should not be very happy about passing the certification neither you should be sad about if in case you do not pass the certification you should be motivated and you should feel proud that you attempted it because just the sheer journey of preparing that for that certification will teach you a lot of things so don't worry about this so failures and success you know it will matter you might pass you might fail i have failed a lot in my life so i know it uh, just go about approaching that with with that thing in your mind that you have to just explore this okay you have to learn through it and then see what the result comes so definitely pulls you out of your comfort zone This is very important guys because nowadays everyone wants to do every certification in any new space coming up someone needs to do cyber security someone wants to do artificial intelligence now i respect that because everyone wants to get an edge but then you have to also understand your niche your relevant experience in industry what you are doing currently and how relevant this certification would be on top of it so fourth point is very important for me guys because if you are practicing it if you are in the industry where you are doing something on google cloud or aws and azure and then if you are topping it up on the certification side it will help you a lot so try that you have that practical experience industry experience and it will help you although if you are not having that make sure you do a lot of hands on exercises so that will build your confidence fifth and the most important it does not guarantee a job let me put very simply 
you being certified does not guarantee you a job it can only guarantee you an opportunity to appear for a job interview and again this is my opinion so it's highly likely that if you are not certified and if you get through that initial filtering and if you have done the work on the ground and if you are even if you are not certified once you start speaking about your relevant experience it will show it will be very evident because whatever you do on the ground day in and day out cannot replace cannot be replaced by simply a simply a certificate which says that you are an architect so if you are not certified don't lose your heart you have an equal opportunity but as i said competition is growing and if you have the knowledge why don't you go for certification get that certification and put yourself on top okay but as i said it does not guarantee a job uh, you know job offers varies and depends on a lot of circumstances okay your expectation company's expectations and all the other stuff okay so honestly guys i being 15 years in it it was not an easy ride for me so take it with a pinch of salt that any certification will ask some commitment from you some hours some slogging uh you know some confusion some struggles everything will come but eventually if you get certified that would give you a lot of edge okay so go for it and this approach which i have shared is my personal i'll again say it does not depend you can completely completely come up with some new approach if you have some good resources do let other know in the comment section and if if it is a good you know resource maybe i'll put a like i'll put a comment on it and uh, yes it will help everyone to you know approach certifications more easily not uh, not like me who's who's who was quite afraid of going for exams or certifications but now i have a structure in mind and with this structure maybe i can approach for other certifications as well so yes i promised to myself that if i clear this exam i'll i'll share everything which i have done during this journey with you all and i hope that this video will help you and even if one person get certified by some help which he got or she got from this video job is done guys job is done and i'll be so so happy for you guys so go and book your exam guys don't fear about failures it would come but not, nonetheless you enjoy the ride okay and until next time please keep learning keep sharing all your knowledge and yes keep hustling bye for now